Hi, I'm Mark Bryant. I'm currently Deputy Director of Commercial for, the, for DCMS, Department of Culture, Media and Sport. Uh, I've recently come from the ODA. I was Head of Commercial there. You couldn't deliver the 2012 Olympics in 2013. It had to be done in 2012. And at that point, that was against the context, a very much cultural background of not failed, but, diff but very hard fought kind of construction infrastructure project. Commercial capability was making sure that everybody in the project team, not just a commercial function, had a level of commercial awareness. They understood that making decisions quickly was important, but making the right informed decisions, because each one has commercial impact. So, you know, you can't, if you're trying to build a velodrome and you need to make some quick decisions on the cladding that goes outside, uh, that has a huge impact on the look and feel of the whole games. You're bringing together very much high level public sector and, uh, you know, public servants with kind of quite gritty private sector, but very, very, you know, the, the best and the brightest actually. Yeah, and that's, that's, I think, what the ODA was, the best and the brightest of both worlds. So commercial organisations for whom profit and loss actually matter, really matters, and public servants who are completely focused on making sure the deliverable is right and that the games happens. And one of the, the key bit elements, I think, of commercial capability that you can really see derived from the Olympics is the idea of partnering. Uh, which has become quite a buzzword of late. It wasn't perhaps back in 2006 or 7 uh, when we were really getting going. But we had a delivery partner, and the delivery partner model with the Olympics was to get sort of 600 private sector employees who are the, the top of their game in commercial and project management and risk management and program management to work with us to deliver the, the whole infrastructure across what is effectively a regeneration of the whole of that area in Stratford in East London. Sometimes the... What we saw was sometimes the private sector did not quite, un, not quite see the same broad scale picture that the, the public sector brings to it. So, because for the public sector it's all about social value. I mean, the, the, the real end goal of this and was, had always been with the, the Olympics was almost a nice byproduct of a successful regeneration of that area in Stratford. So that was kind of foremost in the ODA's mind all the way through. It really is about culture. The, one of, I suppose one of the things I, I often bang in my drum about is it doesn't matter whether the contract's worth £100,000, £10,000 or £100 million. It's, the principles are still the same in, in the supplier engagement and the relationship you need to build and the things that you need to look out for. I, so, I mean, some things, sort of buying paper clips, perhaps, there's not a lot you can do about that. But if, if you're delivering a service somewhere or you're engaged with, with the commercial world, I think there's, there's still a lot more that we need to do as the public sector to learn about the commercial sector. But vice versa as well, I think there's still more that the commercial sector can do to learn about doing business with, uh, with us. You need to be adopting a commercial level of awareness in the decisions that you make and an un un understanding about how they impact not just the cost but actually the risk profile, the contractor's appetite, how the relationship of the contractor could be leveraged in something that you're trying to do. Uh, and I think that's, that's quite critical.